Hello, this is Christian Jackson from Com45 Media and Culture. This is vlog discussion number five, and this week's readings were Television Addiction is No Mere Metaphor by QB and Chikzamahali, Ch Girls, Girls, Girls by Gay, The Apocalyptic Strain in Popular Culture, the American Nightmare Becomes the American Dream by Cantor, and Netflix and the Future of Television by Auletta. So in Robert Kuby and Mahali Chikzent Mahali's essay, Television Addiction is No Mere Metaphor, they talk about how watching too much TV can have a lot of addictive qualities such as use of drugs, being addicted to sex, and even gambling. Um, the authors explain that all the things humans are addicted to are not necessary things that we need in our lives and that they are simply desires that people crave. Um, one huge example that they use in their essay is the use of alcohol and how it is simply not necessary yet people often become alcoholics because they feel they need it to function and they also explain that when someone is addicted to something it is easy for outsiders to see their addiction but when you are the one addicted it is the total opposite in roxanne gay's essay girls 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 she compares how shows like Sex and the City portray the lives of young adult women. Um, Gay also speaks on an H HBO show called Girls that follows the paths of girls that of girls' lives after going to college, and Gay explains that how. In the show Girls, there are no genuine psychological characteristics and that growing up into adulthood can be a very difficult transitioning period. And I feel like these shows are a good way to show that in life, things aren't always gonna be easy and you're gonna have to struggle at first and yeah. So in Paul Cantor's essay, The Apocalyptic Strain in Popular Culture, The American Nightmare Becomes the American Dream. He talks about how apocalyptic shows and movies like The Walking Dead and Doomsday and movies with like natural disasters like 2012 are taking over in our current pop culture and media and meeting culture and everything like that. And Cantor explains that these movies are so popular because typically as Americans, our life consists of going to school, you know, having friends and getting a job. But in these movies, it gives the audience a chance to feel what it's like to go out on a limb and experience what it would be like in these situations of thrill. And I agree with him because a lot of the times it doesn't seem like it, but our lives are pretty boring. So I can see how it would be exciting for someone to view something that normally doesn't happen. So. I feel like this is a really good argument. So in this at last essay by Ken Auletta uh, titled Netflix and the Future of Television, he talks about how streaming websites like Hulu, HBO, and Netflix are putting old rental movie stores like Blockbuster out of business. Um, Ken also mentions that because Netflix is so big, they are now able to produce their own shows and movies. And this is affecting cable networks because now people can watch shows whenever they want instead of having to wait for 
this show to air when it's live. And I'll let it explain that because this is happening, cable networks like ABC are now supplying Netflix with their shows, which gives them an opportunity to stay afloat in American culture because without that, their shows wouldn't be getting any views and they wouldn't be getting any money. So by doing this, they have an opportunity to partner with Netflix while also showing their own shows and making money.